Okay, here we are doing some tests. Yesterday I did um, variations. I'd started out with my trim pot and found that it was woefully inadequate. So I went to a 22 ohm um, reference resistor, which is shown here uh, in this diagram. And, and my variable temperature thermistor is R2 is down here. And there's a ratio, uh, R2 is divided by R1. So if you want to increase voltage out, or yeah, if you want to increase voltage out, you decrease R1 or you increase R2 and do the math and you can see what you can get. Uh, I didn't really try to do the math because I'm not sure the voltage I need uh, is 9 volts and I'm thinking that'll be the temperature for the heater that I have but I have to verify that another time. Right now what I'm looking at is a response and, and capability to reach the temperature that I think I need which is 9 volts. So my target is 9 volts and I don't know the value of R2 so what I did was I put in a resistor of 20 and I calculated through a machine uh, program uh, what that means as far as a value for R1. And I got a value for R1 of something like 84 or 60 or something like that. Anyway, I, so I went through that and I realized, well, okay, if I don't have enough voltage, let's drop the R1. So I went down to a 10 ohm and I did, get, I did get an improvement, but it wasn't enough. So now I don't have anything lower. Well, what I have lower than 10 is like four. So what I've done is I've taken a four, 4.7 and a 3.3 put them in series so I have an 8 point when I solder them up and measure them it's 8.3 that's just given tolerances okay so I'm going from 10 to 8.3 in this test and here's the two resistors soldered together so that's my 8.3 don't touch that that's hot I'm sitting here at rest with uh, 5 volts at 11 volts input and I'm getting five out. That means the heat is dissipating out of this guy and I need to put a heat sink on it. Something like that big piece of aluminum so the heat can go out. Oh, here's this one. Here's the pot that I had started with and it was a one meg. So it could never get down to these level of numbers. It was just too too fat, wrong. Uh, so at any rate, my first test was uh, uh, at eight volts and I got 6.2 out. My next test was at 9 volts. I got 7.8 out. So I'm getting closer. So I went to 10 and I got 8 volts out. And I go, what the heck? So I went back to 9. Didn't get what I wanted. So now I went to 11 volts in and I got 9. Uh, at rest, I'm between 4.9 and, and 5. So here I'm showing you at rest, at idle, with no uh, airflow. And the airflow comes from the fan attached to this. It blows air out. So now I'm going to simulate airflow with a heat gun. But I'm going to have the heat on zero temperature. Okay, so it's just going to be room air coming out. And I think and if I do that, maybe that'll slow it down. Anyway. All right, so it's blowing. And what you're going to see now is with air what happens to the temperature. It was getting 9, 9.1. Now it's getting 8.8, 8.9, so it's close. I do think there is some heat dissipation going on here but if you look at my power supply I'm sitting at 11 volts 0.5 yeah 0.59 almost 6 point six amps which is a pretty sizable load for a heater um, so we're taking some amps out of the circuit now the motor is going to need 0.5 to 1 so you can see we're and if we have lights it's another 0.5 and if we have the sound system, it's probably another 0.5. So we're just talking two amps to run this thing, all the whole engine. Two amps is okay. Three to four is, is kind of high, but we can do that. We can do four, but we don't want to. But as you can see, with the fan on, 
we're getting 8.9. I'll get over there so you can see that. Now I'm going to turn the fan off and look how fast it drops. So the response, the response of the sensor, let me show you the sensor. The sensor's on the back side here. And it is that little, looks like a little ball, a little circle ball right there. That's the sensor. And it's right on the grid. Um, and this heater would sit down on top of this lid. It's a sealant. And inside there is a material, we just call it packing. And we saturate the material with an oil, we just call smoke oil. And the heat causes the oil to evaporate and it creates like a little cloud inside that chamber. Well then this fan pulls air in this hole here, pulls it in, and then shoots it back out and it blows, and there's a lid on, right? So it just blows the air across the heater, pulling the smoke with it, and then it comes out this hole at the top, and that's how smoke comes out. Isn't that fun? Now the challenge is, when the, the fan changes speed as you go faster, and what was happening was, at low speed, you could have a lot of smoke, and then at higher speed, you got less smoke, and I always felt that was not realistic so then you set it for a lot of smoke at high speed and then you got no smoke at low speed and it's like wait a minute you know let's let's figure this out so what i found was this notion of a thermistor as you can see there it is a temperature regulator resistor it, it can handle temperature it's up to 120 140 degrees centigrade which is hot then it can adapt as it changes its resistance. This count, this IC, integrated circuit, very simple, bunch of relays inside. They calculate the, the change and then they adjust the voltage that it allows through from the input. It's like a valve, it opens and closes a valve. Oh, more can go through. Oh, oh, we gotta pull it back, less can go through. So more or less energy can go to the heater core depending on the resistance of that thermistor based on its temperature. It's temperature sensitive. So now it's room temperature. Let's say that's 70 degrees. It's at five, five volts coming through the heater now. This machine, this little gizmo is allowing five of the 11 volts to come through. So it's dissipating it. So if you touch that, it's pretty, pretty hot. So we don't sit at idle very much. It's usually always the fan is running some and that's the next step in my test is I'm gonna bolt this on and look at idle speed and then I can add uh, resistors and diodes or uh, capacitors to this motor. I want my speed to be low but not too low but not too high so I'm gonna to try to balance the speed at idle so we have nice smoke but not too much smoke, not too little. Then I turn on the whole engine and everything's running. The controller for the smoke now knows we're on and it's going to trigger a puff every other rotation according to my setup here. So every other rotation is going to get a very vigorous and it's going to blow the smoke out and that will tend to cool that down. But as soon as it stops, it warms up again. Here comes another puff, puff, puff at idle, puff, puff, higher speed, Puff, 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 puff. At really higher speed, it turns into a constant blow, like we just had. So when you get a constant blow, you're going to want to sustain that higher voltage so that you can maintain a good level of smoke, even though the smoke's being blown out. That's the whole exercise. This is what we do. It's the thing. I don't know. For me, it was, oh, I wonder if I can do that. And so here we are. All right, well, I've got the nine volts. I got it at 11. It's a little disappointing, but at idle, I'm gonna need a, I'm go I cannot have this die. I can't have voltage going through here without any fan speed. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hook all this up right now so I don't overheat. This chip will overheat. If it gets too hot, it goes to sleep. It has the overheat protection, just says, I'm not doing anymore, you're killing me. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on. I'll turn it down, okay, and then I'll turn it off. I'll turn that off. As you can see, when I turned it down, it just went boom, no more volts. Um, and now what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to drill out the mounting holes, and I am actually going to mount that and seal it up there. 
Then I'm going to get this fan to work again. It did work. I just have to check and see what I need to change. And then I'm going to set it up again and see with the fan what happens. And then I'm going to be working on that fan sp speed at idle to make sure I have smoke, but not too much. So that's, this is where it's at. This is, this is tweaking and tuning development stuff. It's what it is. Um, I didn't want, I wanted nine volts in, but you, you can't get nine volts out with nine volts in. It's just two. And if you just do one to one, you're going to get volt drop. You're going to get temperature drop as you add speed. So you got to compensate. And I'm going to need that 11 volts to do that. This chip takes one and a half volts. So it's taking one and a half to two volts. So 11 minus two is nine. So if you want nine volts, you got to put 11 in common sense. I might drop it to 10.5 based on the specs, but based on my numbers, I'm not getting nine volts, so I'm gonna to have to stick to 11 probably. But I can, once I get everything built and test it, then I can vary the input and see how, the, and then it's a empirical, oh, that's nice smoke. What's the voltage? 9.7, man, that's the number. That's how you fine tune it at the end. But you change any component, if you change the resistor, if you change the thermistor, if you change the uh, fan in any way uh, then you got to go back over it and check things change so getting these heaters is hard they're not cheap they're two dollars and fifty cents and you got to order them special from Lionel I'm not really pleased with them they're too big I had a smaller heater I'm gonna see if I can put one in and then set up one of those and do the same exact test with that heater and see what the differences are. My feeling is it's going to be a slower up and a slower down because it's insulated with ceramic material. This one is open wire as you can see. The wires are right there. You can see the wires. Uh, so there's no insulation that's out there. So this is highly efficient as far as heat transfer. But I don't know. Don't know. Okay well I'm going to close this out start uh, getting this ready for an on on engine test static testing on the bench this is like a this is like firing the rocket but it doesn't go anywhere okay now I'm gonna mount it up and and pretend to launch it okay later